for standing up to your oath of office to defend the interests of all rivers people in accordance with the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You have done that standing on firm ground and with the strength and courage of a lion. We are, we are, we are proud of you. Politics is over. It is now time for governance. And you have hit the ground running. You have touched the critical sectors in less than one year in office. Our people say I should tell you to stand firm with the president, align with his positive policies, and carry reverse people to the engine room of government in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. For those who have not bothered to pay attention, if you look at the map of Nigeria, the entire map of Nigeria is sitting on river states. When river state coughs, Nigeria will catch cold. So regard, regard your office as key and vital. Don't look back. It is not a matter of age. It is a matter of your people are with you. And they've asked me to tell you that you are the political leader of River State. No son of Equiline. This is a gathering of politicians. Traditional rulers, women groups, as well as other stakeholders of Equiri descent at the MOHA Local Government Area Council of River State. They are here for a meeting and their aim is to restate their support for the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nyesum Wiki. We are behind you. Leading the group is the local government chairman, Chidi Lloyd, who in his speech refers to Mr. Wiki as the undisputed leader of the PDP in the state. We are here to renew our commitment to the renewed hope agenda and to thank the president for finding one of our own, our leader, the leader of the People's Democratic Party in River State, Chief Honorable Barrister, as the one who For finding him worthy to be appointed as the first Santana the first Southerner to sit as Minister for the Federal Capital Territory. Interestingly, the former Chief of Staff, who is also a Commissioner in the current administration, as well as a member of the State House of Assembly, re echo Mr. Lloyd's statements about the status of the Minister of the FCT in River State PDP. It is ridiculous and funny to see that instead of people focusing on governance, Focusing on delivering and discharging the responsibility with which they sought for vote and they were voted for. Only here every day is that Wiki did not do this and Wiki did not do that. Is Wiki see the governor of Viva? I stand with Chief Barrister Ezekwe Yeso Wiki. I stand with Ahmed Golati. So, my people, I want to thank you for your show. At the end of the exercise, a communique stating the position of the assembly is read out. That we urge Mr. President to beware of certain politicians who are currently parading themselves in River State as supporters of the Tinibu administration. We are aware that these politicians were supporters of a presidential candidate with whom they maligned and disparaged the personality of Mr. President during the 2023 campaigns and elections. These politicians have gathered under a fair political platform to destabilize and make the system.
This is yet another in a series of ongoing political battles between supporters of the former governor and his successor, Simon Alai Fubara, in their political face-off. Charles, Upper Room, Channels Television News. All right, yes, indeed, uh, that is what we're going to focus on this morning. Uh, we've got uh, Mr. Openabo Inkotaria, he's a public affairs analyst and former aide to the former governor of River State, Mr. Enrique himself. He joins us virtually. Good morning, and thank you for joining us on the program today. Good morning, Chamberlain, quite a while. Yes, indeed. And incidentally, we played both. I, I think I, yes. As, as I spoke quite there. Is she still there? <laughs> indeed, I'm here. Yeah, good morning, Ches. Good to see you. Hello. Good morning, good morning. Yes, indeed. And uh, Ayo is on the other side, so you get to hear from all of us. And incidentally, we played both reports. Uh, we're also expecting Mr. Chidi Lloyd to also join us. Uh, but in the meantime, all of this going on. You know, one key thing several people keep asking, which we keep asking ourselves uh, anytime we see anyone from that area, any opportunity we have. What really is the bone of contention in the first place? Yes, my brother Chamberlain, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite obvious to everybody that is interested in politics and most especially those are interested in reverse politics. Wiki has, on several occasions, he vaunted that he was instrumental to the emergence of St. Fubara against all odds. And so ordinary, we should expect this harmonious relationship between the governor and the federal capital minister, yes, being his political godson. But I must tell you, Chamberlain, that in the last eight years in River State, it was a painful laughter on the metallic hell of the roots. Painful. You could see people's my thank God. Today we heard of the former deputy governor, um, Telekuru who said he spent his resources, time, everything. And at the end of the day, he was not appreciated. We heard of Lee Meba, we heard of all kinds of testimonies from all kinds of persons. And it was because we had more or less a dictator in office. We had a situation where if you reason a tangent to him, there was always a penalty. You had trumped up charges and so on, even during the uh, last elections. We have Farad Agogo and all those stuff. But why do we have the present in Brooklyn that we have in River State? It's simple. We had a situation where you were instrumental to the emergence of somebody as a governor, the man as a mess, and you expected to discharge, perform his role as a governor. You forget the fact that you have existed. Exited, sorry. You are the one who said to Ambody, who served unfortunately just one time, that Godfatherism will be resisted in River State. You said so. You also channeled, you, 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 you have this pension for covering uh, being part of his media chat. So you have all that. You also said that you will never interfere once you leave office as a governor. Because you hated when people interfere in your governance. You said Megul made all these promises. But unfortunately, after you left, you are fixating the governor. You wanted the governor to do exactly what you want him to do and not what the people want him to do. So it's a question of, to answer a question, to answer a question directly, it's a problem of Godfatherism. The pestilence of Godfatherism incited, ignited the imbroglu we have in River State. It was okay. not all about so, yeah. governance. It was not all about, okay, for that, I'm sorry. You heard yeah. when he even said, we are, we are there, we are there, Shambhali. When he even said, nobody will tamper with his structure, he will not allow that. Are we talking of structure right now? We're not talking of structure as you speak right now. We're talking of governors. Like the former governor, Peter, who had the greatest structure in River State, who is the godfather of modern day, the father of modern day River State from 1999. He had the best structure. He handed over okay. to uh, Obeya. 
So, eventually, so, the court brought in a meeting. What in the place? So that I just hope that the clarity of what I'm saying mm. will be clearly understood and logic captured the judgment of people. It took penetrate their mind. Now, all the way left, Amechi came in. Amechi left. Uh, Omeya came in, then the court said, no, not Omeya, Amechi. Amechi left. Miki came in. Nobody interfered. And it is also the constitution in, of the PDP that the governor is the leader of the party in the state and the president, the leader of the party in the country. So I cannot comprehend why that statement of the revived Dr. Peter Odili would generate the kind of furore it is generating right now. I cannot comprehend it. Why you you cry? This paroxysm of uh, 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 irritation whenever the issue of uh, the governor of River State is being uh, is being mentioned, I, I can't comprehend it. We all know when he was a governor of the state, who was the leader of the party in the state. That is a conundrum. That is a question you should ask yourself. Okay, so it's not a question of debate. It's not so, a question so the, of debate. The thing is this: I mean, um, for instance. And uh, by the way, when you say pension, look, media houses go for uh, charts that they are invited for, so they don't just barge in like that. So it's a point. No, I didn't. I went, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 please, don't, mis don't, mis don't misunderstand me. What oh, okay. I mean by pension, what I mean by pension is like, you know, whenever it has to do with media chat, whenever it has to do with Jason Wiki, not just channels, so to speak, it's not just channels. You know, people want to listen because it's like news. Oh, okay. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So, it is, so not, it is not said in a derogatory manner. I get yeah. you. So the thing is this, I mean, even uh, no matter which government you look at, uh, as recent as history of former President Jonathan, you know, people will demonize and say it was the worst. Another one comes in and then he will always have his supporters. The next one comes in, oh, it's so terrible. They will always have their supporters. People will even write books about all of those things. So in Rivers, we've seen a similar narrative. Even when uh, Mr. Amici was there, you had people who were on the other side. Uh, when Governor Wiki was there, in fact, now in the report you played, you have people who are on this side, people who are on this other side. So politics, game of interest. I mean, up until recently, yeah. the narrative we heard was that some of those people now who are, are on the other side, some of them wanted to be governor. Some of them didn't want this same man who's there now as governor. They said, no, never. How can he? Uh, so those kind of things are things that baffle so many Nigerians when they see. But people didn't support him. And then he becomes governor. Then you ditch and go here. So they think, oh, so is this just a chess game? Politicians, you're the enemy of my friend is my. So isn't that the kind of scenario that is playing out now? Just basically game of interests? Well, I completely agree with you, if you can hear me clearly. Yeah, I can hear you. Can I speak? Okay, politics, yes, like you rightly said, is a concerted circle of conspiracies and articulated interests. No doubt about it. You see, but that is when you're politicking. Now, we've passed that stage. We are talking of governance right now. I must be very honest with you. A lot of people we are vast to the emergence of Sim Fubara, despite the clamor for a riverine government because of where he was coming from. A lot of persons believe that with Sim Fubara in office, the FCT minister was going to be the governor by proxy. And so that apprehension was palpable and pervasive. And that's why, yes, I agree, one or two persons would have also indicated interest to say we want to run. There's nothing wrong with that. They, all those. That he's been that that he's been uh, that he has been vilified today have the right and are all competent to contest. But in this game, one person, only one man, will be chosen. He was chosen. Now, when he emerged as the governor of the state, for one, two, three months, we all saw what happened. For those of us that are in River State, and the man decided, he said to himself, "Oh no." I'm being asphyxiated. And don't forget that when a man is pushed to the wall, he bounces back with a double therefore. No, did, did he make this public in an announcement? I, 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 I will come into that, Chamberlain. Just a minute. He bounces. And you know, like the question they ask, for how long will feverish breath tremble in silence before its owners? 
How long will this pestilence of Godfatherism continue? I have a legacy to keep. If for to be quick, if for example, at the end of the four years, I am not being applauded for what I have done as a governor, the, the, the damage, the criticism will not go to my, my predecessor or my Bennett, the man who, who was instrumental to my emergence. I will be criticized for life. When I will concede certain things to you, don't also be oblivious of the fact that I have a name and I'm also the governor of a state. I'm governing persons. This is a man who was a DFA. This is a man who was a accountant general. He worked with the former minister. So he is aware and cognizant of the sufferings of the people mm. and okay. the shortcomings of the last administration. So he wanted to make those amends. And in making those amends, the FCTs have felt he had crossed the bar. That's just the genesis of the open. Okay, so if I could just jump I'm in again and ask you. But as yeah. we speak right now, a lot of persons are very happy. That's why you find out that the enconium, the plaudits, mm -hmm. over outweigh, outweigh the criticism. So let, let me ask People you this say, then. Oh, thank God. You know, yes. before uh, we got to this stage, at the initial yeah. stage when this all started when people were a little surprised saying ah, what's going on they thought even if this was mm -hmm. going to happen mm -hmm. they thought it was pretty mm -hmm. early and they didn't understand what was happening people were asking so what's the issue and then after a while all of a sudden they heard that there was a meeting in abuja there was an agreement mm -hmm. even some mm -hmm. persons who were uh supporting the governor thought no way you cannot do that again no so <laughs> well, I didn't even get, we didn't get a chance to ask you yourself. So they kept on going that way. So that's why I did ask you this game of interest. Are, are people not going to be surprised yet again when, because people, which I know you know, they have a way of settling some of these things all of a sudden, and then every other person is it's left politics. in the lurch. It's politics, so yeah. that's the question. Where do the people come in here? Because only recently the State of Assembly was saying, look, the agreement that was signed, the governor is not fulfilling his own part of that agreement. And as such, mm -hmm. we will be left with no choice than to proceed. So whatever else anybody says in the court of public opinion, there was an agreement, which the governor was privy to. Now, my brother, Chamberlain, are you done? Should I talk? Go ahead. So, are you done? Chamberlain. Now, I don't really want to go into the issue of the House of, the House of Assembly because... It might be subject, it's a matter in court. Because the, the legality and legitimacy of those members have been questioned in court. You said you have defected, you are not members of the APC. And you have plethora of cases to bolster the assertion, the fact that once you defect, when there is no schism in a political party, or when there is no measure, you have lost your seat automatically. Well, since that one is in court, we could leave it. What about yeah, the agreement? That, that is it in court? No, one minute, I'm coming, I'm coming to that. I said, why I don't want to really go into that? So as far as I'm concerned, what we have is legislative parambulation. That's what I just, that's, that's what I described, legislative parambulation. So I don't want, because uh, do, do they have the teeth to bite? That's the question. Are they still members of the House of Assembly? <laughs> that's the first question there. So if you say the House of Assembly. Now, the governor himself, a grave personal inconvenience decided to implement the eight-point agenda, which most reverse people are against. Because let us be factual. Mr. President is subject to the law. It's not the law. That agreement is not legally binding. Let me take you back to the Aburi conference. When they reached an agreement and at the end of the day, they found out that the agreement reached was going to be inimical to the unity of Nigeria. What did government do? So if I reach an agreement with you, out of desperation or anything, or respect, and I come back home and realize that that agreement will be inimical to my people, what do I want me to do? But does the, gov does the governor share this view? Trying, no, I'm coming. I said... I, I've not talked with him. That's why I said, even at Great because he kept saying he was going to implement, and he has implemented a lot of them. <clears throat> you know, some, what people, is some left, people will say uh, that. Uh, 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 Mark, Mark, just one minute. What probably is left, and what most of them are angling for, is just the representation of the budget. 
The matter is in court. Oh, all right then. Otherwise, most of those people would have been out of out. out they would have par uh, par uh, paraded themselves as legislators. Okay. And so, but it's just it's just because of the budgets, and that the matter is in court. All right, I'd, I'd like do? to take you up on a few things that you know on a, well on the significance of a few things. First, the statement of former Governor Peter Odili, Dr. Peter Odili, who said, "Politics is over. It's time for governance." Do you think that really, with that statement and the fact that he's endorsing uh, the current governor of the state as a leader of the of the state and the, of the political party, do you really think that politics is over, or has it just started? No. What he's trying to say, and what any any right thinking members um, extrapolate to what uh, our reverend people say is look. Let us leave the past behind. Whatever has happened, let us concentrate now on governance. That's just a point. And he also went a step further to say, the leader of the party is being, he did, he did, he did not say anything extraordinary. It is so in their constitution. I'm not a member of APC. I'm not a member of PDP. I don't belong to a political party as I speak. So what he's trying to say, this is because the leader of the party, the governor is the leader of the party in the state, and the president is the leader of the party in the country. Mm. Now you ask him, well, look, I will bread turn to stone in the mouth of another and remain bread in your mouth. When you are governor of River State, you are the leader of the party in the state. He said he bought all forms, which is even criminal. All the forms for all the contest contestants. That is not even criminal. With whose money? Is that not anti-democratic? Okay. He said he bought. Why did the PDP submit those form? Simply because he was the leader of the party. So uh, why will bread turn to stone in the mouth of another? That is the burning question. That is a question anybody should ask. Well, there were two. There were two events yesterday. One that happened in yeah. Dr. Peter Odili's uh, hometown of Undani, and another one happening with uh, in the Ikwere community, led by uh, Dr. Chidi Lloyd, and also. Uh, we saw the former chief of staff to the governor of them, Mr. Emeka Woke, who is a commissioner in this current arrangement. So when you say, I mean, the very fact that those two meetings held yesterday uh, in two different areas, um, does it tell you anything? Uh, does it say much? And, and the fact that all of them are now saying, look, Mr. Governor, align yourself with the president. Make sure that, you know, you bring the people of Rivers to the federal, to, to, they're involved with whatever is happening at the federal level. And you have another group saying, Mr. President, beware of those who did not support you in your ambition. And there's some people are uh, pretending, etc., etc. What do you make of these two statements at two separate gatherings tell you. in two separate communities? I will tell you. Yes, I will tell you. First and foremost, you have the two separate gatherings because the original plan was to commission the health facility donated by Dr. Peter Adele, former governor of Rivers. And in order to foot wrong, mm. to, to in order to steamy, in order to, uh, 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 how will I put it, um, take the shine off, trying to take the shine off that location, they had another gathering with other antiques. Now, to tell you that the governor is a man with a very large heart, a man who is insisting or trying to implement the eight-point agenda. How will a commissioner speak ill of a governor and remain as a commissioner? It's not done anywhere in this country. But he left it. Not that he, he has blood flowing in his veins. But because of the eight-point agenda, what Mr. President has said, he left it. Otherwise, why will you impose a commission on the government? It's not done. Even the president himself had a major battle with President, uh, former President uh, Obasanjo as a governor of Lagos. State. We all are aware of that. The LCDs. No man will go. No, no, no governor is going to prove that. Mm. Well, the, 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 the question is as to, I mean, I... I, I to Listening to what he said, can it be interpreted as speaking ill? The fact that you uh, support somebody doesn't mean that you speak ill of another person, does it? No, 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 no. They refer to 
They have said to me as a leader. It is, it is committing political suicide. As a commissioner, you refer to somebody else who is antagonizing your principle as your leader. It's like having a mole in the system. It's committing political suicide. Uh, but it is being tolerated by the governor. Not because Mr. Woke is too powerful. Not because the FCT minister would have done anything if he had said, I suck you and get out. No. But because he had a pact with Mr. President. That he can control. The other one is a legal matter. He cannot control. It's a matter of the courts. That's why it's almost all the things are agreed on. That it's are not legally binding. Mm -hmm. Don't have legal implications. Well, he sorted them he, out. And the respect me. he has for... Yeah, just, just one second. I mean... Um... There's something you said earlier that is it, of interest to me, and I, and I think it might help some people to understand exactly what is going on here. First, you said earlier that you know the the leader of a party in the state is the governor, and that the leader of the party in the nation, in the ruling party in the nation or any party at that, is the president. But it wasn't so in the first republic. It wasn't so in the second republic. Not even in the third republic. The national chairman of the political party, just one second if you can hear me, the national chairman of the party is the leader of the party in those first three yes. republics. What changed it this time? And why is it now the subject of, part of the subject of this political upheaval that's happening everywhere, including in River State? Out is a grid for power. Unlike yesterday, you're talking of the first the second report, that is the Chagare tenure. Chagare went in for a meeting before the national chairman. Then we're almost practicing party ideology. Do we have any ideology right now? Even national assembly has seen it. Is it Opa also who defected? Is he not still a senator? Do people join political parties? On ideological grounds? No. That's why even the Amish's case, when the Supreme Court said, you vote for the party and not for the individuals, I disagreed. Because that is trying to import the American system. Here, yeah, you don't vote for party. You vote for individuals. Let us if that were ourselves. the case, if that if were the case, Mr. Inkotaria, just, just a second, party, on that particular subject, to another party, which is on wrong. that particular I mean, subject, if if yeah. that were the case, then to be the face of the subject on the ballot paper and not that of the political party. But as you said, that's a, that's a matter that can be discussed some other time. Uh, yes, Perhaps yes. some history might yes. also as help. Speak right now, yeah, it just, is just a one second. There is a head in the state and the president, the leader at the national level. Is there a that's law? Right is there a law that supports that position? Parties. They are parties. They are parties. And what did the law say? They are decided cases. We are not going to interfere in that party matters. They are parties. But they, I, again, am not I am not comfortable with that situation. I love the 19, 1979 situation. Hmm. But that is what it is right now. It was a simple situation in the now. Third Republic because I, there are a good number of people who will remember that Tom Ikimi was the chairman of the NRC at the time and was a very, very prominent face of the party. But there is also, in yes. this Fourth Republic, uh, this challenge, this political face-off that we've been having in River State started as far back as 1999. And it will seem like every governor has had that issue with their predecessor. And this definitely is no, no, no different because uh, some who have said, look, we saw that this was going to happen. We just didn't know it was going to happen so soon. What really is the problem? And how can we put an end yes. to this? Otherwise, but, it will continue until infinitum. No. Um, the situation, the circumstances are not the same. They are not. Now, Transition from Peter Dele to Omeha. Sadly, they got to say they don't recognize as a government. To Omeha, then Omeha to uh, 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 Hello. Uh, The difference Hello. is this. 
not about control. Hello? Let's not forget. That transition is not about Tell me, we are calling my line. That's different. Then from the issue of Amechi to Wiki, it's also not control. It has to do with succession. Now, the problem Hello, right now is the problem of control. So they are different. They are different scenarios. Okay. As you said, every governor has had that challenge with their successor, with, the, with their predecessor. From Governor Odile to Omehia to Amechi to Wike and now Fubara. That's the situation that has happened up until this moment. No matter how different the situations are, the manifestations are the same. What really is the issue? Uh, the, 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 that's why I'm telling you. The, the issue of Peter Odile, Peter Odile never wanted control. So that's why I said the situation are different. Richard Amechi never wanted control. So the bone of control was under control. But in this particular case, it has to do with control. This other case, we are talking of succession. That's why I'm saying we had the issue of the Kaleg, which had to do with the Rotimi Chibukamechi, and that's how the mayor emerged. Then we had the issue of succession. Amechi wanted the river right man, saying the upland had ruled for so many years, about 16 years, they are to be the turn of the river right. That was just it. But this one now has to do with control. We're well, trying to get across uh, to uh, uh, Dr. Chidi Lloyd and see what transpires. But let me ask you how we try to solve the connection out with Dr. Lloyd. Um, open about, um, let me ask, did you or do you have information as to what was the agreement between the former governor and the current governor before the former governor chose him to become governor? Do you have an idea what the agreement was? What did you say? Do you have an idea what was the agreement between former governor Nyosun Wiki and the current governor Fubara before former governor Wiki chose him to become governor? At all. No idea at all. So no that, idea at all. isn't there a possibility that some of our comments might just even be perhaps not knowing what they've agreed on and we're just commenting in that tangent because if we knew what the agreement no, no, was, no, 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 no. we might have no, had no, no. a diff no, get, deeper get, insight. Get, Yes, get something straight. Get something straight. Like I said, the the organic support the governor has. Now they say Thanksgiving rented crowd as well. No. Yeah, I understand the organic, the organic support. I mean, we, we can see yeah, some. The, the, but this, the thing is, you. do we have now, that? Now, I, I want, what I want what did they agree on? I want to elucidate. Yeah. Uh, the organic support is not born out of any agreement they reached. It's born out of the policies of the government. The man has come into office and he is there as rivers floating in the image of rivers persons, satisfying them, doing the work and the things as those things expected of him. And rivers will are satisfied. That is just the support. So it doesn't they matter are. what they agreed on. If they are, what if they agreed that they are going to sell government house? No, that's hypothetical. No, I'm asking. So it doesn't no, matter. No, that's what I'm saying. That, that, so if they agree that they're going to, what's my view? No, because if today Fura says the government, Fura is excellency, sorry, says I want to sell government house. But that's how politicians play. <laughs> Isn't it what politicians yeah, do? I'm not, I'm not, they I'm do not that all the time. time. Like you said, we are also going to remonstrate. But okay. the policies are in tandem with the yearnings of reverse persons. All right. And that is why you have the kind of support. What the support you get is a referendum of his, the approval of the government's policies. All right. we, we, we thank you very much indeed. We need to anchor at this thank point, uh, Open Abu Nkuta, uh, Public Affairs Analyst, thank former aid to Governor Wiki. Thank you. Well, this business no, I thought, on the I thought, I thought, I thought, we, I thought we were going to continue for another one hour. I thought so too, but unfortunately, uh, so, that, so my, bro my brother could come on board. So my brother could come on board. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> see what can do, but at the moment, uh, right. is on uh, fixed time and business.